Hello and welcome. My name's Ranger Heather. This month, we're remembering the eruption of Mount St. Helens 40 years ago. And you're watching the second video in a four part series, how the US Army Corps of Engineers responded to the eruption disaster. The Army Corps of Engineers is the largest engineering organization in the world. And one of their many missions is responding to disasters to keep people safe and ships moving. Mount St. Helens was one such event. In our last video, we learned about the eruption itself. Now, I'd like to share with you how the Corps rose to the unprecedented challenges that we faced in the aftermath of the eruption that changed our landscape forever. As you can see, the eruption made some very big changes to the surrounding landscape. However, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers was up for the challenge with its rapid emergency response. One challenge during the aftermath of the eruption was confusion as to where help was needed the most. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, along with other federal, state, and local agencies, established emergency communication from a temporary FEMA headquarters in Vancouver, Washington to coordinate recovery efforts. This enabled agencies to cooperate and quickly evaluate where assistance was needed. Another big challenge, one that would last for years to come, was managing the massive amounts of sediment that came down from the mountain into the Tootle, Cowlitz, and Columbia rivers. In fact, 15 million cubic yards of sediment from the Lahar were deposited in the Columbia Navigation Channel alone. Because of the sediment, ocean traffic could not pass the mouth of the Cowlitz River. Vessels were stranded upstream, unsure of when they'd be able to continue. Clearing the Columbia River Channel was vital from both a safety and an economic standpoint. The Army Corps dredged 24 hours a day, restoring navigation in just five days and ultimately clearing 28 million cubic yards of sediment from the channel over the next few years. The Army Corps also worked to restore the flood carrying capacity of the Cowlitz River after widespread flooding occurred due to sediments carried down from the mountain. The Cowlitz had lost 85% of its flow capacity, posing significant flood risk to residents in Castle Rock, Lexington, Kelso, and Longview, Washington. Initial measures to reduce risk of continued flooding on the Cowlitz River included enlarging clogged sections of the channel raising existing levees, and constructing new levees. To further help reduce the risk of flooding, the Army Corps used pipeline dredging to remove 54 million cubic yards of sediment from the Cowlitz River. That's enough to fill 4 million concrete trucks. So now we know how the Army Corps helped in the immediate aftermath of the eruption but all that sediment would continue to pose unprecedented challenges for decades to come. The Corps needed an innovative solution to manage it, and they rose to that challenge with the construction of the sediment retention structure. Tune in to our next video to learn more, and thanks for joining me today.